Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we're almost done with this thing. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. It's almost over. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your front panel USB and your front panel audio. This is very easy to do if you consult your user manual. Now, if you don't have the user manual for your particular motherboard, look at the part number on your motherboard. Usually it'll be on a sticker in there. Sometimes it's printed right on the board. You can nine times out of ten get the manual from the manufacturer's website and it'll save you a ton of headaches of digging for what you're looking for. But what you're looking for is your USB 2.0 connectors. In this particular section, it shows me right where it's at. See that? It's right there, right in the bottom middle of my board. See, there's my motherboard. Oh, here it is. And there's the bottom middle. So let's go ahead and look at the board right in there. And there's two blue connectors right down here that hopefully you can semi-focus on. There they are. And I just take my connector, which is labeled, if you have a, hopefully you have a decent case, the front panel connector is labeled USB, and there's an empty slot on one of the 10 pins on there. That empty slot just has to match the empty slot on the connector you're plugging it into. So I'll look down here, and I'll slide it right in that connector, and your front panel USB is installed. Now the same concept goes for your front panel audio. Just flip to the page in your manual that says front panel audio connector. Hopefully that's exactly what it says. It's got two separate configurations, but the pinout's the exact same. The AC7, AC97, which is the legacy audio, and the HD audio are both the exact same connector. A lot of people confuse that. So I'm going to take my HDA connector here. There's another blank slot on this one, and i got to match that blank slot with the connector in the motherboard. This one is up here, closer to the processor. Let's go ahead and get it in there. And that one's in there. We have successfully configured our front panel USB and our front panel audio. A lot of people are lazy about this and they don't even connect them. If your front panel USB and your front panel audio aren't working, that's probably why. Whoever built your computer or when I first built my computers, I was too nervous to mess with connectors, so I didn't connect them. So usually nine times out of ten, that's why. So if you just open it up and just see if there's anything connected to it, that might solve your problem. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and like this video if you liked it. Share it with friends, family, and loved ones. They will be empty without it. And also, you can follow me on all the major social networks, and I will see you guys in the next video.